Aloha everyone, my name is Deepa. Welcome to What's For Yoga. Today we'll be doing standing asanas to open the hips and the hamstrings, mostly working the hips laterally. It will be helpful to have a block nearby today. Let's get started. Go ahead and stand in Tadasana in the center of your yoga mat. Take a nice deep grounding breath as you begin to close your eyes and release tension from the mind, from the body, from the heart. Feel your feet against the mat. Start taking slow, deep breaths in and out the nose. As you breathe, the belly button draws in toward your spine and the tailbone draws down toward your mat. There's a lengthening up through the crown as you feel that open energy center there at the top of the head. Take a moment to let go of your day and to start to tune into your breath and listen. We'll repeat the deep abdominal breath today for pranayama. That's a slow, deep breath in through the nose. Draw the breath through the third eye down past the throat and heart and deep into the belly with the soft expansion there in the belly and in the low back. And then a slow exhale out the nose. Once again, the deep abdominal breath for centering and grounding. Slow inhale through the nose, let it wash through the third eye, right between the eyebrows on the forehead, down past the throat and heart, Filling the belly, the hips, and your low back with breath. And then a slow exhale out the nose, but try to leave your attention here, nice and low in the belly on the navel chakra, right below the belly button. Go ahead and try that on your own for about a minute. Feeling that connection always between the feet and the mat. Let's do one more complete breath. Now that you've established this peaceful focus and attention to breath, you want to slowly begin to open the eyes Keep most of your energy and focus inside the body on the breath flow up and down the spine. And make sure you can hear your breathing. This will help your body to relax into the asanas. It also automatically activates your core muscles, which is very beneficial in every asana. So it's always going to be in the nose, out the nose. Nice deep breaths. So we'll start with a roll down through the spine to begin to warm up the back. Reach down through the fingertips and down through the feet. 
Inhale, lift your heart. Look up gently as you draw your belly button to your spine. Exhale as your chin drops down toward your sternum. And you start to roll down slowly through the spine by allowing your head to lead. And soften your knees so it's easier on your back. Your arms are hanging naturally at your sides. And you begin to release all the tension from the neck and spine as the chest rests down on your thighs. Inhale, push down through the feet. Slowly stack your vertebrae one by one as you come back up. Use your abs to support your back by activating the abdominal muscles against the spine as you unroll. Let's do that again. Fingers reach down, heart reaches up, belly button to spine. Inhale, look up. Exhale, really soft. Soft through the joints, chin to chest. Head is heavy, arms are dangling. Activating your abs to support your back. Bend your knees as you roll down. Soften your chest against your thighs, relaxing the arms. Inhale to unroll, stacking your vertebrae. Activate the abs to come back into your standing position. Inhaling on the way up. Back into vertical, go ahead and inhale your arms up by your ears and drop down through your shoulders. Really reach long through the elbows, long through the fingertips, root down through the feet. Draw your belly button to your spine and see if you can interlace your hands, releasing the pointer finger without lifting your shoulders up. Try to anchor your shoulders down. If this is too difficult, instead open the palms apart from each other. If you can, interlace them. Shoulders are down, belly button strong, feet press down. Inhale, reach up through the fingertips, and then exhale over to the left, keeping your ribs down. Inhale up through the center, exhale over to the right. And just keep moving, nice and easy, abs active the whole time, just to warm up your spine laterally here. Stretching through the elbows. Next time, once we stretch on the left side, bring your left hand to your hip and reach long through the right arm. Again, shoulder is nice and down, ribs are down, stacked on top of the hips. Belly button to spine, reach down through the opposite side of the right foot and inhale, lengthening up out of that hip you can also look up in front of the arm. Feel this big space here between your face and your arm. You're not cutting it off by rounding your shoulder down and forward. One more breath in. Exhaling, reach long, and then inhale. Come up, we'll switch sides. Place the right hand on the right hip. Inhale, the left arm up, shoulder down, belly button to spine. You're pushing gently your hips over to the left side as you stretch over to the right, long through the right side, left side. Nice breath here through the heart and chin, so you're not scrunching your chin down toward your sternum. And once again, you're welcome to look up in front of the arm, enjoy that space. And then inhale all the way up, and exhale the left arm down. Step your feet a little wider than your shoulders, and we'll go into a little vinyasa warm-up called Brahma Dandasana. So this one has the feet parallel and the knees bent right over the big toe and second toe. Also, something to point out that's important here is your tailbone is straight down through the heels. So you don't wanna have your tailbone out behind you like you're trying to find the seat of a chair and you don't want to overdo it by over tucking and then stressing the hip flexors. So this is a neutral spine. That means that the pubic bone lines up with the tailbone from front to back. They're in the same plane. Okay, so start in that nice deep knee bend. Maybe you already have been standing here getting nice and warm. This is really good. Activate your abs. We'll start with the hands at the heart. Inhale, straighten the legs. Look up as you reach your hands up toward the sky. Open the arms and exhale halfway down with a strong belly and long flat back. Just looking down at the floor. Bend your knees and 
activate your abdominal muscles towards your spine as you inhale your biceps up by your ears long straight arms and then exhale release your spine down between the legs drop the head completely my knees are still bent here and add one more pose here you're going to drop your tailbone down between the heels place the hands at the heart and push the knees apart take one breath in exhale we'll begin to come back up so pour your spine out through the crown by dropping the head down inhale stack the vertebrae as you uncurl reverse swan dive the arms all the way up to the sky and exhale back to the starting position remember neutral pelvis hands to the heart knees bent over the big toe and second toes inhale starting again open the arms wide open the heart exhale strong belly halfway down activate the abs to support your back always Bend your knees and inhale your arms up by your ears. Long neck. Exhale, full release. Relax the spine. Drop the neck and head. And then last pose as the part of the vinyasa. Drop your tailbone between your heels. Push the knees apart. Take one breath in. Exhale, pour the top of the head. Pour out through the top of the head. Start to uncurl your spine. Stack your vertebrae. Inhale, reverse. Arms go all the way up and exhale hands to the heart in prayer position let's do that one more time inhale reach up open the arms exhale halfway down strong flat back inhale arms up by the ears as you bend your knees exhale full release relax your head neck and spine down drop your tailbone between the heels inhale push your knees apart and then exhale pour out through the top of the head as you begin to unroll inhale Reverse swan dive the arms, and then exhale the hands to the heart, bend the knees, and come into Tadasana. Good. Let's take a breath here. You can close your eyes or simply gaze down toward the floor, focusing on the breath. Listen for the breath. It's hard for your mind to focus. Now go ahead and have your block on the outside of your left, of the left side of the mat. So when you step wide, it'll be on the outside of your left foot. This is about one of your legs distance apart. Turn your left foot out 90 degrees and your right foot in. So I'm using this line on my mat so you can see the alignment a little better of my feet and legs. The front heel will always line up with the back arch. From there, you open your hips toward me. So you're gonna take your hips out of this position where they're trying to turn to the side, open the right hip away, and you'll feel already a stretch through the front of the hips. Belly button to spine to help anchor that and ground in the, in the pelvis in that position. Tailbone down, strong belly, and we'll start with a little flow here. Inhale the arms up to the T position. And go ahead and exhale into Virabhadrasana 2. If this feels a little short, open your stance by scooting the back foot just a couple inches further back, but make sure the back toes are pointing in, not out. This will protect your knee. Okay, and we're going to start our flow from here. Inhale, keep your belly button drawn in toward the back. Exhale, Uttita Parshvakonasana. Keep some weight in the back foot as you move. Look up in front of the arm, and then inhale, rise up, reverse triangle here. You're moving the spine laterally. Once again, this is not a back bend. Exhale, lunge into lateral angle, Uttita Parshvakonasana. You can look up or forward, whatever feels good on your neck. And then inhale, reverse triangle, belly button to spine. Exhale, Uttita Parshvakonasana. The left arm is palm up on the thigh. And then inhale, reverse triangle. And then on our next lateral angle pose, we're gonna hold and breathe. So keep pressing down into the back foot. And then the right bicep is next to the ear. 
the left palm is up, and you can look up in front of the arm. Keep breathing here, belly button to spine. If you're really opening your hips in this direction, you can always use your block at any height that feels good to you in front of the bottom foot, placing the left hand down on the block to get a deeper asana. Let's breathe here. Now inhale all the way up to standing so you have a straight front leg and rest by exhaling the arms down. Keep your legs there. We're going to go into triangle pose. Inhale the arms up to the T position. Keeping your legs straight, activate your thighs, belly button to spine. Inhale. You're going to hip hinge laterally here like you're pouring a teapot. You're going to tilt your hips in that same way. So that's your inhale. Tip the hips. Reach out as long as you can. That front thigh still engaged in lifting. When your torso stops, leave it there. Left hand comes down, right hand comes up. Long arms, you can rest your hand on your shin or if you're up here on your thigh, whatever feels good. Just make sure the left shoulder is in line with the left shin, not in front of it. So you're nice and flat like you're being pressed between two panes of glass. You can look forward or up, inhale, and as you exhale, just keep pulling up through the thighs. On your next inhale, rise up, lifting your arms. And then exhale, release the arms down to rest. On the next inhale, we'll go into Virabhadrasana 2. And this one will lead into Ardha Chandrasana, the balance pose. So I always like to have the block nearby. I place it on the outside edge of my pinky toe on the left side, since that's the side we're on. And we'll start with Virabhadrasana 2. Inhale the arms up to the T position, nice and long through the elbows and fingers. Exhale and lunge. Make sure, once again, that hip's not trying to come around to the front. So keeping that open, belly button to spine, tailbone down will help with that. Front knee right over the ankle as you gaze over the left hand. Let's breathe here. Keep pushing down through both feet so you can feel that equal weight in both feet, both legs. Last inhale. And on your next exhale, bring your left hand to the block. Shift all at once, now breathing naturally for yourself. You're going to bring the back foot in and the block out just a few inches to prepare. Simultaneously, you want to press down into the left foot and into the block as you lift the right leg up. Belly button to spine. Flex the right toes toward your shin. Bring your right wrist over your right shoulder. And then from this position, you can feel your block, or maybe your hand is on the floor. That's fine too. But your wrist is under your shoulder. You can either gaze down at the floor or begin to slowly start to turn to face me. Belly button to spine will really help you here. Nice deep breath as you reach your crown away from your heel. To really challenge yourself, slowly begin to turn your gaze and open your chest as you look up at the right thumb. Keep that back leg lifting. And then bend the bottom knee, the right leg lengthens out and down, back through Virabhadrasana 2 on the inhale. Straighten the front leg, exhale the arms down, turn the left foot in. Let's step together and rest in Tadasana. Feeling your ears over your shoulders, shoulders over your hips, hips over your knees, knees over your ankles, and breathe. Let's try the other side. Don't forget your block. So go ahead and take your block, place it on the outside of the right foot this time. So you'll step wide. This is always going to be about one of your legs distance apart. 
Turn the right foot out 90 degrees and the left foot in. So the left foot, the back foot, it turns in and the foot turns in here on an angle to protect that back knee once you're lunging. Belly button to spine, open that left hip. We'll start with our flow. So we'll inhale the arms up to the T position. Then go ahead and lunge your knee over your ankle. And then bringing the right arm, palm up onto the thigh, left arm by the ear for lateral angle, Uttita Prashwa Kanasana. Looking up in front of the arm if that feels good for you, or you can just look forward. Inhale, rise up, reverse triangle, side stretch. Exhale, lateral angle. Inhale, reverse. All the while, belly button to spine. Exhale, lateral angle. Inhale, reverse. On our next lateral angle, Uttita Parshva Kanasana, we'll hold and breathe. Make sure you feel comfortable in your stance. Again, you can use your block to go deeper in front of the foot if you'd like to try that. Belly button to spine, you really feel some weight in the back foot. Long elbow, activate the abs strongly. The spine is twisting here, the ribs are twisting and opening. Strong through the belly for support. One more breath. And then we'll inhale all the way back up to standing. So straighten the front leg and exhale the arms down. Let's try Trikonasana Triangle Pose. The legs are straight for this one. So pull up through the thighs and down through your feet. You always want to feel as if you were trying to tear your mat in half by pushing down and out with your feet. This will help to keep your legs active. Tailbone down, belly button to spine. Really important here. We're going to stay in the frontal plane. Very flat. Inhale the arms up to the T position. And then looking over that right hand, laterally hip hinge here. Reaching out as long as you can and through the arm. Hinging as deeply as you can laterally through the hips. When your hips stop, leave the torso there. And just move your arms. Right arm down, left arm up this time. Strong through the belly. Look down and see if your bottom shoulder is in line with that shin in the front should be nice and flat, not in the front. Keep engaging and lifting up through the right thigh as you hold and breathe. Inhale, let your left arm draw your right arm up. And then for this next one, we'll do Virabhadrasana 2 into our balance pose, Ardha Chandrasana. So go ahead and take a moment to move your block to the outside of the right pinky toe, just to prepare. Inhale the arms up to the T position, belly button to spine. Exhale, lunge, Virabhadrasana 2. Feeling strong in your stance, don't let your knee float toward me. So keep it nice and turned out over the ankle. And then go ahead and look over the right hand as you reach up through your crown. Remember, equal weight in both feet. Let's breathe here. Next, we'll move into the balance pose, Ardha Chandrasana. Slowly lower your right hand to the block. And then shift your back foot forward about a foot. The block moves forward, not too far, because once you come up in the asana, you want the block right under your shoulder. Begin to shift your weight onto the front foot. Inhale, push down into the standing leg as you lift the left leg up behind you and flex your toes toward your shin. Try to bring that leg parallel to the floor. Left wrist over left shoulder, belly button to spine. And if you feel like you can balance here, really the inner focal point is that belly button to spine. So don't release that. Try to turn the face and chest more open toward me as you breathe. Reaching out through the back heel. Don't worry if you wobble, just try to 
Readjust, get back into the asana. One more big deep breath in. Front leg lunges, back foot steps down. Inhale back into Virabhadrasana two. Straighten the front leg, exhale the arms down. Turn the right foot in and step together. Good, so let's stand in Tadasana and absorb. Now we'll start to come down to the floor. So go ahead and step wide on your mat. Turn your toes in. You may want to have your block between your feet for this one. Nice wide stance again. One of your legs distance apart. This time your toes are pointed a little bit of pigeon toed in toward the center line. Inhale your arms up by your ears. Reach your heart up toward the sky. And with a long flat back hip hinge here. Forward bend, bring your hands either to the block or the floor, whatever feels good. And you can use any height of the block that feels natural and feels supportive to you. Activate your abs so your back is always supported. And we'll breathe here as we engage and lift through the thighs. You can even open your feet a little wider. Long through the neck. place your right hand right under your nose on the floor or on the block. Inhale as you twist toward the left side and draw your left wrist over your left shoulder. You can also bend the left arm behind your back and just lengthen the crown away from the tail. Try not to curl the spine in any way. Just a long twist as you look over that back shoulder. Inhale, feel the lengthening of the spine and exhale the wringing out of any tension in the back. Inhale, draw the left arm up, and exhale to release. Switch sides, left palm under the nose on the block or the floor. Inhale, the right arm up, and you can bend the arm behind the back. You can also reach around for the inside of the left thigh as you do that. It feels really nice and really helps to open the upper body and shoulders here. Just keep lifting the thighs up, lengthening out through the crown. Inhale. And exhale as you twist, the abs are always engaged. Inhale, release your arms slowly, untwist your spine. One more time, right in the center, you can even lengthen your arms out by your ears like downward dog. Let's take a breath here. Now one leg down at a time, using your hands under your shoulders for support. Bring your knees to the mat and together, feet together, hips to heels, moving the block off to the side, hands by the feet, forehead to the floor. And breathe in child's pose as you let your shoulders round down toward your mat. Inhale, uncurl your spine, and go ahead and come off the heels, having a seat on the mat. We'll turn to the side, and roll down on the back slowly by sliding the hands under the legs and slowly lowering the vertebrae down using abs. 
Draw the knees to the chest. Give yourself a big hug here, rocking side to side. Place the right foot on the mat. Figure four stretch. Hook your left ankle over the right leg. Flex the foot if you can. Interlace your hands under the right leg. Keep your low back flat on the mat. Inhale, activate your abs down toward the mat. Exhale, pull the right leg toward you. Once again, you don't want to lift the tailbone up off the mat. So keep that down. Feel that nice deep opening in the left rotator. You can close your eyes, soften your shoulders. Really reach down through the abdominal muscles toward the mat. Release that side. Go ahead and lengthen both legs down onto the mat. Roll your feet in and out to release your hips. This is called hip uh, windshield wipers. And then switching sides here. Left foot flat on the mat. Hook your right ankle over the left thigh and flex your right foot. Activate your abs down toward the mat as you begin to lift the legs up. Interlace the hands under the left leg. Inhale. And then exhale as you pull the left leg toward you, keeping your low back nice and flat on the mat. Feeling that deep rotation through the right hip. Gently release that side, lengthen your legs down onto the mat again, windshield wiper the feet, toes go in, toes go out. And we'll do a back release here before we lay in Shavasana. Inhale the knees to the chest, exhale using your abdominal muscles, curl your head up toward your knees, inhale your head down, and exhale your knees away. Inhale your knees to your chest, activate your abs down to the mat. Exhale, bring your head up to your knees. Inhale your head down. Exhale, knees away. Do that one more time. Good. And just rock back and forth over the low back. A little massage there. And then lengthen all the way out. We'll do Shavasana here for about two minutes. Palms up. Let your tongue drop to the back of your throat. Relax your facial muscles and come back into rhythm with the sound of the breath. Nice deep breathing.
Slowly begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. You can rotate your wrists and ankles. And then roll onto one side and gradually come up to your seated asana with the hands at the heart in prayer position. Take a nice deep breath into the heart center. Namaste.